Hello guys, this is Alim from Javelin. I see that you inserted this part into another part, but the principles are the same. Uh, you need to cap these ends. Because these are planar faces, I can actually cap them with a plane or with a planar surface. So either I create here a plane and uh, say zero inch away and same thing here. So plane, zero, right? And then look for the intersect tool, pick up the two planes pick up the tube, hit intersect, it's going to tell you there are two regions. If you have SOLIDWORKS 2016, you can say just create the internal region and you can see it's just going to get the inside filled and uh, I can isolate, this is the volume inside the pile. Now I'll give you the alternative, if this is not a planar surface or if something is a bit more complex with, uh, than what a plane can do, the alternative is to run a fill surface. So let's do just that, fill surface. And I'm gonna pick up this edge. And I'm gonna pick up this edge. Right, so now I have surfaces that are capping this. If I do a section through, let's go through the middle. Oh, you don't really have a plane for that, so I'm not gonna bother. Uh, but uh, you can see that the volume inside is capped. The tool function is exactly the same so you're gonna run intersect you're gonna select the surfaces and the solid body not the plane I don't need the plane anymore so just the two surface bodies and the solid body and it works exactly the same so for example uh, I can even ask SOLIDWORKS to get rid of the surfaces right here at the bottom of the of the property manager is the option to consume surfaces and if I want to leave for example only the inside I can select the outside to be removed and this is the internal volume Okay, now if you want to do the same thing at the assembly, we can do that too. 